Zoe's Buhari seeks recovery of missing 881 billion naira in 367 ministries, departments, agencies. Hello, my amazing family. Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. I wish you all an amazing new week. Please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is your first time. Thank you. Sarah, well done. But let me preemptively state that your case will be dismissed due to one technicalities of the order. Remember, this is Nigerian, where justice is for the highest leader. We should all know that this president and his governing body is the highest corrupt and embezzling regime I have seen in the whole wide world. But they forget that they can only escape the court of Nigerian, but not the court of our Lord Jesus Christ, because sooner judgment of God awaits them all. The suit followed the green allegations contained in part two of the 2018 annual audited report by the Office of the Auditor General of the Federation. The Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, has filed a lawsuit against President Muhammad Buhari over his failure to probe the alleged disappearance of 881 billion naira from ministries, departments, and agencies, among others. The group is seeking the probe of allegations that over 880 billion naira of public funds are missing from 367 ministries, departments, and agencies to ensure the prosecution of those suspected to be responsible and the recovery of any missing or diverted public funds. The suit followed the grim allegations contained in part two of the 2018 annual audited report by the Office of the Auditor General of the Federation in the suit number FHCABJ CS 1281-2021 filed last week at the Federal High Court Abuja, Serap is seeking an order of mandamus to direct and compel President Buhari to promptly investigate the alleged missing 881 billion naira of public funds and to ensure the prosecution of those suspected to be responsible and the full recovery of any missing, mismanaged, or diverted public funds. In the suit, Sarah argues that, complying with constitutional requirements and international standards on spending of pu public funds would ensure effective and efficient management of public resources and put the country's worth and resources to work for the common good of all Nigerians. This is contained in a statement by his Deputy Director Kolawale Oluwadare on Sunday. Serap said it is in the interest of justice to grant this application as it would improve respect for the rights of Nigerians and improve their access to essential public goods and services which ought to be provided by the indicted MDAS. Please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is your first time. Thank you. President Buhari has a constitutional duty to ensure the investigation and prosecution of allegations of corruption as well as recovery of any missing public funds section 15 5 of the 1999 nigerian constitution as amended requires the buhari administration to abolish all corrupt practices and abuse of power it also noted Sarah further argues that the alleged missing public funds 
have hampered the ability of the indicted MDAS to meet the needs of average Nigerians as the missing funds could have helped the government to invest in key public goods and services and to improve access of Nigerians to these goods and services. Joined in the suit as respondent are the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, and the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed. The suit filed on behalf of Serap by his lawyer, Kola Wale Oluwa Dare, Dare, read in part the failure to investigate the allegations of grand corruption contained in part two of the 2018 annual audited report constitutes a grave violation of the duty placed on the Nigerian government to take appropriate measures to promote transparency and accountability in the management of public finances. Mandamus is a high prerogative rate which lies to secure the performance of public duty it gives command that a duty of a public nature which normally though not necessarily is imposed by statute but is neglected or refused to be done after due demand be done if there is a discretion to perform the duty the court has the power to examine whether the discretion to refuse to act has been properly exercised Recovering the alleged missing public funds would reduce the pressure on the federal government to borrow more money to fund the budget, enable the authorities to meet the country's constitutional and international obligations, and reduce the green level of public debts. These damning revelations suggest a grave violation of the public trust the Nigerian Constitution of 1999 and International Human Rights and Anti-Corruption Standards, spending of public funds without appropriation will create opportunities for corruption. Similarly, Articles 5 and 9 of the UN Convention Against Corruption, to which Nigeria is a state party, impose legal obligations on the Buhari administration to ensure proper management of public affairs and public funds and to promote sound and transparent administration of public affairs and public property. No date has been fixed for the hearing of the suit. My country people are tired because I know this lawsuit is dead on arrival. How can corrupt person sue his fellow partner in crime? just as he has refused to declare bandits terrorists. How on earth do you think he will probe these criminals? Nigerian, I'm sorry to say, is a crime against humanity. Thieves in government parading themselves as saints. Every day the same story, the money has been stolen, going, going, gone, as usual. The Buhari regime is the most corrupt regime in Nigeria. This report is by this regime. 880 billion naira missing in a year. I am waiting to see the aftermath of 2023. If we are still alive, Jonathan era may be a shite play. This one I just 2018 report. Only God knows what has been stolen from 2019 till date. But please give us a thumbs up and please hit on the notification button down below. I made number one is plug. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.